Hello, thanks for stopping by. In this short video, I'm going to do a walk and talk through the risk-based process safety gap analysis tool, which is based upon the CCPS framework for risk-based process safety. Once you've opened up the spreadsheet, you'll find yourself landing on this page, Start Here. There are several worksheets along the bottom that you can see going from heat map, including all the 20 elements uh, of the risk-based process safety framework. Let's start with the heat map and give you a quick overview. The heat map is basically showing you how the elements have scored relative to the various questions that are going to pop up with all the worksheets along the base for elements 1 to 20. And doing one particular example, let's start with element 1. In element 1, all the questions that are relevant to that element for CCPS RBPS is sort of provided along the left hand side here under requirements. With requirements there is a question of course, then there are some assessment questions specific to the requirement where you would score based upon a major deficiency through to minor deficiency meets expectations or exceeds expectations. Let's say in this particular question for element 1 you would say that it was a, a major deficiency so you would put a 1 score there. You can see that it immediately matches with the colour given for that score. If we go down this table, let's go in the order 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and let's pretend that we're really good and uh, we've got 4s along all the others at the bottom here. If you try and put a different score in, it will give you an error, so it'll say retry, so we'll put a 4 in there. Let's say we're not so good on that one, 3, and we're not so good on that one, uh, a 1, and keep going all the way down to the bottom of this particular set of requirements. There are a number of questions in these worksheets, and it's pretty important that if you're doing a gap analysis, they get a quick overview of everything at a helicopter level, otherwise it would be difficult to get an understanding of where the gaps are. One particular thing that we had feedback on from the people who purchased this is they'd like to have a section for comments. So it's often a good idea if you get a, a one score here to maybe put some notes as to why you gave it a one score. Maybe you gave it a one score because there's no evidence as it says here that there are arrangements. So there might be a particular set of instructions that you want to place here. Why? Well, because in the gap analysis, you'd want to find an output where you can focus on things for improvement. That was element one, and if we go to our heat map, you can see that the population of the scores has been put across the top here. And along the top, you can see that there was a score given of 63%, which is of course not ideal, and you can start to focus on the areas which need improvement. The reds here are on question one, question eight, 13, and 14. It's a fairly comprehensive gap analysis for all the 20 elements and one particular element element 10 asset integrity and reliability you can see there's a lot of questions going up to question 19. These questions have all been used with my clients before for doing their gap analysis reviews and also implementation with uh, their risk-based process safety framework. So it's been tested out in the field and it's had quite a lot of success and hence the reason for keeping the, the framework more or less the same in terms of question sets. It's gone through an evolution process in effect. You can get an overall score on the pillars. There are four pillars and this one's about commitment to process safety and you can see the score was 19%. Another thing that clients have come back and asked is can we export the chart and we provided a chart worksheet at the end where you can literally copy that and put it into a report or perhaps into your dashboard as a metric whatever it is that would help you in terms of moving things forward. There are lots of hyperlinks into the document, so you can go back to the guidance here by clicking that, and if you were back in the chart, you want to go to the heat view, you can do that as well. In effect, this gap analysis is extremely powerful and comprehensive when you want to try and focus like a sniper approach on areas within the risk-based process safety framework for CCPS as to where you should improve relative to the elements. That was a quick overview 
on the CCP Space Process Safety Framework and the gap analysis tool that I've developed. If there are any specific questions, you can always find my email on this uh, sort of Excel spreadsheet at the top here, sg at redrisk.com. Drop me an email. And if you have any specific requirements or also suggestions for improvement, always open. Thank you.